Joining me now is the Executive Director of Médecins Sans Frontières UK, Vicky Hawkins. Uh, Vicky Hawkins, how big a problem is lack of resources and facilities in terms of contributing to the spread of this disease? Yeah, well, obviously, as your piece said, we are dealing with countries which do have limited capacity in their healthcare sector. That's also exacerbated by the fact that this is the first time they've dealt with Ebola, so they don't actually they don't have the experience of dealing with it. Um, we undoubtedly need to support them more. There needs to be more capacity dedicated to treatment, but really importantly, there needs to be more capacity, and I'm not talking about financial resources, but in, in terms of people that are dedicated to the effort of communicating with the community, explaining what Ebola is, telling them how they can best keep themselves safe, and really key, explaining that the best way that you can, you can if you're worried about a, a loved one, the best thing for them is to get them into the treatment centre early because if we treat people early, we can reduce the fatality rate. The Foreign Secretary talked about Ebola posing a very serious threat to the UK. Is that a bit of an overstatement in your view? I'm not a public health England expert, but I would say that the risk to the UK is, is really minimal. I mean, we do have much more sophisticated healthcare infrastructure here, obviously, and we have pro pr protocols and procedures that would immediately swing into action. I think the best thing that the UK can do in terms of minimizing the risk to, to the UK is, is investing in containing the outbreak in West Africa. And if someone did come to the UK presenting with Ebola symptoms, what would happen then? Well, they would be hospitalised, quarantined, and we have the healthcare infrastructure in order to, to likely to be able to treat them so that, so that they would survive. And obviously we want to be able to do exactly the same for the many, many more people in West Africa that are affected by this outbreak. Vicky Hawkins, thank you very much for joining me. Okay. John.